Hello there, gamers. Is everyone doing this wonderful day today? It's one of us seeing you guys, so everyone's doing great. Hey, here we are on the No Contraband Profile because I want to kill some bows. Or actually, better said, I want to shoot some bows and then run away and then go back and then shoot it again, specifically without killing it. So this has been brought up in the stream before, and I think that it originally, the strat came from this guy, Old Paper, so credit to him if he was the, you know, the first person to come up with doing this. And basically, you take a bow, like a short bow or a terminator ideally and i'm gonna use some terror armor because it's really really cheap and i already have it on this profile and then you need to buy a bow pep and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the crystal hollows you're gonna find the bow structure you're gonna shoot it until it's a 25 percent hp and you'll know because it'll say nearly there i'll show it once i actually go do it and then you're gonna run out of the structure and then come back and if you're solo it'll then like regen all its hp and start over again i'm not sure like why the bow works like this why it regens its hp back to full so this is how it's worked since the crystal hollows came out years ago so like they've never changed it and um this allows you to uh, you know continuously get hits without Without actually having to kill the bow, which maximizes the chances of you getting the pet. Because right, getting a bow pet has nothing to do with killing the bow. It's only related to hitting it. And then I think I want to do this for like a long time and then total up, you know, all the bows that I get and then all the money that I get from the gemstones and see how much it breaks down to like an hourly rate. So what I was thinking was maybe lobby hopping until I find a lobby that's about to close because this would be very peaceful in a lobby that's about to close because I think this is really scary if you're not solo so like this dude's here so i think that like just ruins it completely should do a souls rebound and swap to terminator is that actually something that i should do let me shoot you with this whoa okay just like that bang now i know he's coming back that's a quick one if there's no one here this is so fast souls rebound it makes a massive difference that was so fast i thought the one the first one when i walked in was already low hp and i definitely want to actually kill all these blazes because i you for sure could i get a flame die what oh we know this is what they were before no they weren't what the heck a million coins from robotron reflector what is this bro how much money does flipping keep farming these things make, bruh? I should, I should farm these for, for, for a money method in the video. What in the world? Hold the axe for more magic find. Use a precursor eye. So like this. I should buy you sorrow armor too then, right? So I'm gonna do this with three, four sorrow precursor eye. I'm gonna bind sneak to left mouse and then run around like this, basically. And then it's just gonna spam it really quick. And then I'm gonna snipe them and I'm gonna hold the axe to get them more magic find. So Chimera would obviously make this much better, but this is what I'm gonna do. Just like, oh, that's not gonna one tap. What the heck, bro? See, I can do what he's doing, right? Just like left click him and use full sorrow. And then I could just teleport to them. And then I should hopefully be able to one tap. Bang. Okay, yeah, 32K. This is probably just the way to go about it like this just run around and hit them once with the axe black cap pad so i'm super fast you only see the one percent drop messages well you're telling me i'm getting more than what i'm seeing you get more drops i definitely only saw the ftx pop up once and i definitely only saw one robotron reflector oh my gosh and i have three super light motors and two synthetic hearts holy bro you missed like 50 percent of the drops this is actually crazy i have millions already go get the eggs if it's five mil damn bro give me this juice look at all the gangsters are here Give me that! Holy bruh. We rich. Um bruh. Who the frick is this guy? And what does he think he's doing with that dreadlord sword? Oh, I totally forgot as well, too. Look inside my bazaar. I did um four hours of uh, what's it called? So those things right there, autos. And that ended up being, you know, this much money right here, which I feel like is pretty cool. Oh, not everything even sold. That's another 2.8 million, no, 1.6. Well, those came down quite a bit. The robos were, you know, like 700K, 800K. So I, like I, I was selling them every hour that would go by because I was worried about like big price swings. So right now they're 770K. So they're like the same as what I was selling them for, you know, with the exception of the these ones right here there was one hour that i got 16 of these things which is crazy so all of it's sold except you know 1.6 million worth right so i got that much right there you know 54 million ish uh from four hours you know which isn't really like all that crazy i guess but autos are you know like not really a difficult thing to do you just kind of zoom around and i was doing with a data list but you know even if you didn't have a data list or the black cat that i was using the rates are probably aren't going to be all that much different anyway so 
I think the totem definitely works, right? Because this is, I just hit this thing so many more times than I was before. I wonder how much money you get from all this stuff too. That actually adds up to be like anything significant. To be honest though, if I got like two quick legendaries, this is immediately like, you know, a very good, right? Because like that would put me up to like 20 million an hour or something like that. 25 million an hour. If, if I got two really lucky ones. Oh, just like that right there. Is that it right there? It's, uh, it's an epic, you know, but we'll flip and take it. 13.5 million. Oh, about bets just like that one. Two on one boss. Just kidding. What do we get? What do we get? Please be a legendary. If it's a legendary, the 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 hourly rate on this is actually gonna be good. For real though, like where 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 is it actually? Oh, it is a legendary. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's gonna totally change the hourly rates. Uh, those um flawless thingies that I bought I'm actually filled, so I'm gonna be able to craft this and probably actually make money by having uh you know accidentally clicked uh, the gemstone and pick that up. I'm not gonna need to do a nucleus run to clear that, and I'm just gonna be able to go straight there. I should have been AFKing in a lobby, right? I totally didn't even think about that. I've been AFKing at the forge for like an hour and i should have been afk oh this is a day 17 though there's a black necron out for bid right now auctions only is that it right there once it end three days two pieces are there three pieces the pants already sold for seven really at least like five of them oh i got a pet i got a pet i got a pet please be a legendary please 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 oh it is it is a legendary i see it right there give me that okay 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 so if we're on our four it's not bad it's i mean it's it, i'm still getting highly unlike uh, unlucky that's for sure but you know it could all change very quickly like if, if i get another legendary on like this one right here and then like another legendary after that then we're we're up in the range of like you know 40 million an hour or something like that makes these all gonna be like nice bro we got a flip it a boy right when i joined the lobby is that him right there enlightened it is look he's looking at it what the heck man level 132 uh, bro just became a billionaire just like that homie hit the lotto what are the odds i was in the lobby i've never seen that chat message before holy look at it's in his hand uh, that thing's crazy uh, oh my god it's got another one right when i showed up the first battle in this lobby Oh my god, it's another legendary too. Look what we're up to. I have three legendaries and three epics. Each epic is going to be 12.3 million. And each legendary is going to be 22.5. So that's like 66 plus what? 36? So we're at 102 million. So we're at 25 million per hour right now. LD Bass was getting 65 million per hour. And by just getting normal rates, I'm getting extremely unlucky. The average normal normal rate should be about 60 million an hour. So if I, um, you know, hit a lucky streak and I even it out from all the unluckiness, then, you know, we, we could get up there for sure. Oh, should I cut up these slime onions? These guys are definitely like super juiced. And then I think that I wanted to, uh, oh my God, 11 million. So what is that like 200? That's like the all 300 mil or something like that. Almost 300 mil. That's amazing. Uh, so much money uh, like on this profile total is come from these slime onions. These things just print so much. They're so good. You know, right like obviously further back in this you know video series which it shows exactly how i got every single coin in this profile uh i got a video like somewhere back there which shows me putting these down originally but you know they're all tier 11s corrupt soil uh diamond spreading and enchanted hopper you could also do a uh, minion expander but i think that we concluded that it was like basically the same as if you did diamond spreading and then the lava bucket and they're not mythro infused and uh you know i don't know how much you get like on a daily basis but they're very good though i think that i want to go on the alpha server and look at my flipping chocolate factory because that thing's just been, you know, cooking. So I'm curious just like, you know, like what the number is going to be, like how many things I can upgrade and if I can see anything cool that I wasn't able to see before. I think I should do that. And then I think we should kill some more bows or well, actually not kill the bow, hit the bow. What do we got inside of here? Let me see. Oh my God, <laughs> 71 million chocolate. Okay, man. Uh, well, what the fuck do I do with 71 million chocolate? I guess I just click everything, right? I think I want to, like, make it so that I can get to these. The granny. Okay. Oh, shoot. What was that? You can see that? It said click me, but I didn't click it fast enough. I have eight unclaimed rewards. Oh, snap, bro. Give me all that. These tallies are actually kind of crazy. I didn't see this before. It requires a high chocolate factory to get these tallies and two billion chocolate. And the chocolate factories are like 150 million to upgrade. So those tallies are actually probably pretty insane. Those are likely going to sell for quite a bit on the auction house. Is that maxed out? Okay, so it caps at 100, yeah? So it's something just, oh, click me. Jeez, okay. So I get 11K from that one click. Pointless to upgrade. What am I getting now? 
2,000 chocolate per second, 20 times more than what it was when I joined a couple minutes ago. And I still have 16 million left. Yeah, we're stocked up. I don't even know what to do with the rest of the 16 million. I guess just leave it until I can actually prestige. Oh, yes. Please be a legendary. Please be a legendary. Just when I was talking about it. Another epic, bruh. I mean, it's it's not this, it, you know, you only complain so much, but I got three legendaries in a row. So I think that we're on like, you know, hour six. So I'm going to try and do like a full, you know, efficient hour. And then that'll put us up to hour seven. And then hopefully, you know, hopefully we get some, some sort of like a lucky streak within that, you know, like solid one hour. I also don't think that I mentioned it in the uh, video, right? When you run away and like I leave and then it causes the battle to like regen all this HP and come back, you have to actually leave like the, you see over here on like in the side menu, you have to actually like walk into the magma fields. Otherwise he like won't um, do the regen thing, right? That's what I'm doing. When I teleport into the wall, I'm, I'm making sure that I actually exit, you know, this entire thing and I go into the magma fields. Otherwise it won't reset. And I also know that people are going to ask about the pop-up on screen when I get the battle pen. And when I get, uh, when I have to go back and reset it, like when the HP is low, it's the auto text mod on BLC. You go to auto text right here and you scroll down, you click uh, create a text action and then you click the settings button like that, like this one right here. And then this is my, th so this is the text that it sends when he's at 25% HP. This is when you reset when it says nearly there. And then I have one for the battle pet drop. And uh, then I have one for my quiver too. But yeah, this is what it looks like right here. So you have the matching key and then the message and then you click show text right there. And then I have it set to say this right here. Uh, okay, well, that last hour was scuffed. I would have been better off not even farming them for the last hour because I didn't get a single one at all. So we're sitting with this many after seven hours, I believe, of farming bow. The thing is, though, is that a good chunk of those seven hours was like super inefficient where I had to wait for the five minute respawn. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere between 25 and 30 million per hour, which to be fair, though, considering the gear, that's about the same as mining rubies. And I don't need to set up a route. Don't need all of the gear that it takes to mine rubies. Like this takes gear, but each of these armor pieces is like a million coins each. This bow was like a million coins. Uh, the tunnel of corruption is like a hundred thousand coins. The bow pet looks like is, you know, age average 14 million, 13 million current lowest spin. I do have a terminator bow, which, you know, is a, a good bit of money, but like aside from the terminator bow, it's this, this is a cheap setup, right? And I say aside from the terminator bow, because you probably already have a terminator bow that you use for your dungeon setup or whatever. So we've got 14.5 times seven is 101 and then we'll look at this one right here this is going to be are those really 20 dang this came down a little bit so 181 divided by seven comes out to be 25.8 which is exactly around where i estimated it i was selling at 25 yeah these were much higher when i looked yesterday or the day before my guess is they may just fluctuate a lot during the day check the skins you're right to the skins the skins the skins for the fire sale and golem skin and minor mole skin 4,000 quantity each uh so so to be fair, this is the first golem skin. We don't have a skin in the game for this golem already. Uh, there is no skin that exists for this right now. The problem is, is that I think this thing's useless. I don't, I don't think people use this for anything, right? Like legendaries are, you know, 4 million coins. And then this is one of the new pets that they just added the minor mole. The fossil's like 500k and get it from nucleus runs, I'm pretty sure. So so there probably is, you know, like a lot of moles in the game. I don't know. This this one could do good because this is um this is a new best in slot pet for nucleus runs, right? Maybe we get surprised and this one ends up doing really good. Either way, code swaving the Havoxel store if you're going to be getting any of those. All the people who use code swaving your gig chats appreciate you guys one of you boys will ever know i do want to go on the office server really quick though and check out our flipping you know cookie clicker properties hunt chocolate factory nonsense and because i upgraded all this stuff like super super far or as far as i could so we probably have 200 million chocolate okay can i upgrade these again oh shoot i can i can take them even further now wait but i want to upgrade that Did that take it all away so i lost everything when i prestige but now i could do this time tower when active this ancient building increases the production of your cookie factory by you know x amount for one hour and i can activate it and it has three charges i wonder how you get more charged right click to activate uh that's pretty cool and then i'm probably not gonna be able to see these but you know there's two more and i assume it's gonna be similar stuff to this it'll be you know pretty pretty cool